Meanwhile, let's look at this super duper, you guys, look at this space. <laughs> That's what it really looks like. This is um, a laptop bag. <laughs> I'm so profesh. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna do another nail tutorial, and I am very excited to be doing this. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have been talking so much about the Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Strips. I am super excited to share that Dashing Diva has given me, I believe it is a discount code. I don't think it's an affiliate code. The difference being a discount code is where you guys, my subscribers and followers, will save, I believe it's 10%. I do not earn anything if you use that code. I know some people are shaded out about that. If at any point I find out it is an affiliate code, I will be sure to let you know and link everything in the description box down below. I will always be transparent with you guys. They, of course, are available on the Dashing and Diva website, which is just dashingdiva.com. They range anywhere right now, I think between $6 and maybe they go as high as 12. I would say on average, they're about $9. You can find them at Sally's in store as well as Sally's online. You can find them at Ulta.com. I believe they have more of the magic press nails, which are these little nails that have the adhesive already on them, but they are fake nails. They aren't like your real nails. And then you can also, I have found recently, find these at Walmart. And that's where I found them the cheapest. But if you want to find the most styles, I would tell you to go check out all of them on the Dashing Diva website, where of course you can use that Allison 10 discount code and save yourself 10% and find as many styles as you could possibly want. I really do hope that you enjoy this video, and if you do, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing before you go. And while you're down there, click that notification bell, turn all notifications on so that you don't miss any of my videos. Videos. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, guys, so here is a closer look of what the nails look like. I really wanted to make sure that you could see this, much like I did that last video where I did a tutorial with Impress Nails, which is very similar to their Magic Press Nails, the Dashing Nativa Magic Press Nails. This is what the nails look like after Hold on, gotta do the math. I put them on Valentine's Day, which is the 14th. So 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 2,000 years later. We are going on 19 days, nearly three weeks, and that is what my nails look like. If you look real close, you can see Obviously, almost three weeks later, there's going to be some growth between my cuticle, like the base of my nail bed, and the beginning of the gel strip, which is right here. You can see that pretty much on all of them. Excuse my cuticles. But truly, these guys have stayed on so well. We were at Disney yesterday, so they have been sunscreen tested. Um, I have been going through several showings trying to sell our house. The only thing I do want to point out was around day 14, which they do actually say that you can wear these up to 14 days. This is the one nail that started lifting right here. Very minimal and really has not been a problem. Finally, I want to say that I have had no peeling on this area. Like, my only qualm with the Magic Press Nails and the Impress Press On Nails is after about a week for me, it starts lifting here and like my hair, I'll like run my fingers through my hair and I'll get hair caught right here. So these are all the styles that I'm deciding between. This is what I have on right now and it's so pretty. I think it's just really my all time favorite. This is called in the blush, I can't speak enough about it. I feel like I don't wanna put it back on. I kind of want, I don't know, a little variety. We have an event this weekend, and I'm kind of leaning towards these. I just kind of like 
how they're nude and there's a little bit of bling that we can apply if we want but it's not over the top this is in the style precious metals I have worn this one if you've seen me on my Instagram stories I posted about this one this was the first style that I tried in the gloss nail strips by Dashing Diva and I don't think I've ever gotten so many compliments on my nails and this is in the style rum raisin Ugh, and then this one I like so much I love when they have this gold detail here so pretty um this is in the style modern matter but yeah let's go with my gut and let's do this one right here i want to reiterate that i am not a nail pro by any stretch of the imagination i am just doing what works for me here that being said for removal i use this ncla so rich nail oil and then this little nail cuticle pusher I don't know what you call these things but I got this one in one of my magic press sets it comes in there so we're just gonna put a little bit of oil on each of the nail cuticle areas just letting it soften up the sticker strips if you will and then we're gonna take our little pusher sticky thing here and just kind of start lifting the sticker, the strip. I call it a sticker, it's way more than a sticker. But at that point, it's like lifted and it just peels. There you go. The nail looks good. There's no damage to it, it's that easy. So just kind of doing the same thing. Like, do you see how easy that just lifts right off? I'm not checking to see if it's in focus, but I'm just rubbing the oil that's on there just over it. I'm just gonna kind of like file, shape these bad boys just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, wash my hands and come right back. All right, now that my hands are washed, I'm going to grab a cotton round and just some acetone nail polish remover and just prep my nails. And now I'm just gonna kind of swipe over my nails just to make sure there isn't any excess oil because you want to make sure you can kind of get them nice and clean so that the gel strips will stay longer. Here is what we decided to use. I'm going to go ahead and open these. And just like so. And there are instructions on the back and it shows you exactly how to do it basically what we are going to do now so you get extra of the base color right here and then and when I say base color like what you might want to wear in the majority of your nails and then it comes with this nail file here which is what I've been using but I did just pick up a couple of other nail file thingamadooters and I might just see if they work a little bit better than this one. My theory is this little nail file that comes in the package is akin to those eyeshadow applicators that come inside of your eyeshadow. They're just usually not the best. I wish that there was some more choices of sizes here, but you can make them work. I found that really like not having the perfect like matching nail size, I just kind of mixed up which nail was wearing these two, like these two on this hand, they were the same but just kind of switched, if that makes sense. So keep your little sticky thing around. It helps really push the strip like into your, I don't even know what this is called you guys, I'm telling you, I'm not a nail person, but push it back in here so it looks the most natural. I know with the Magic Press and your um, 
impressed nails, the press on nails, they say it's better to start with your pinkies, but this doesn't really matter. And I think I'm gonna go with this size. So I always peel from this end because you're gonna end up like filing this part off. So if it gets a little bit messed up, it's not a big deal. You wanna kind of match this part to this part on your nail and then apply the most pressure right in the middle of the nail first. Then kind of push over to the sides. I'm gonna fold this part over. I find if I hold it down while it's like folded over and file, that's how it comes off the easiest. Then I'm just gonna use this side right here, a little bit smoother just to kind of smooth out any edges. Just kind of peeling from this side. I'm doing my best to like match it up at the base. kind of pushed it all up to the base. I ended up going and getting a different little pusher because this one still had oil on it. Like Allison, hello, what an idiot. And it was making the nail not stick. So you might even see some bubbles on this one. It's not terrible, but I ended up having to get a new glitter nail because the other glitter nail wasn't lying flat. I'm like, something is wrong and that's what it was because this is what it should look like. This is perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see if I can just do, I'm trying different files today because if I don't have to switch back and forth between two, that would be awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and fold and just begin filing. When I was talking to the Dashing Diva peeps, they were saying if you file like too much off of the edge, it can start lifting. So that's why I've also found like filing down kind of helps file the least off. I'm lay it down and then push down the center and the sides. This one, push it down the center. Just file. All right, and so for the pinky, I think I'm gonna just do this light color again. Voila, there is one hand and I will just kind of cruise through the second one now. You can see I kind of switched these nails and my ring fingers. Very simple, I would say this, this lighter color was the most difficult to put on. It was more difficult than any of the other gloss strips that I have tried. So do with that what you will. Do I still think that they look super cute? Mm, definitely. Okay guys, so that does it for this video. I feel like I always have to go, boom, done. I was never a cheerleader, but I guess I've got a cheerleader somewhere deep down inside of me. That being said, I really love these gel strips. There is definitely a learning curve. I have used them now mm, about three or four times. I get better with each application. I learn something different, new tips and tricks. In the few times that I have been doing this, I would say go ahead and just take this little nail file that comes with it and toss it. Sorry, because it made my life so much harder than when I actually went in with this tropical shine one I picked up at Sally's. It was less than $5 for sure. Blue side first to remove the excess gel strip and then just kind of soften everything out with the white side. As always, I will be sure to link 
everything discussed down below in the description bar so you can always reference that. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. While you're down there, please be sure to turn on the notification bell with all notifications on so that you don't miss any of my videos. If you have tried these, let us know in the comments section because I have just found that reading comments and people just kind of their input, it helps all of us out. So that does it. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.